Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Art Jarrett. Well, good morning to you. We're in overcast conditions right now with temperatures widespread through the 50s. We're even seeing a 60 now pop into Soledad. Some of the low lying valleys have held on to some of that warm air. In fact, the mountains have cooled off. We do have fog in place coming up along the Big Sur coast, working to the Monterey Peninsula, extending to Salinas, back down through the valley again. The Santa Clara Valley socked in as well. Even Hollister, visibility not an issue, but a few clouds hovering around coastal San Mateo County getting into to, uh, uh, Davenport and Bonnie Dune, and then we're seeing those clouds all the way up into the San Jose area. Okay, so there is mist and drizzle out there currently. It is light to heavy in some cases, so you're going to have to use the windshield wipers. It'll be brief, but then again, you're still going to have to use it about another couple of miles down the roadway. So it continues to come in and press along the coast, coming in from the south, working to the south and then the northeast as well. So it's swirling out there. Why? Because we have a nice little sweeping tail of cloud cover moving through our area. An area of low pressure is going to come in and bring the chance of rainfall for us uh, across the, the west coast here, mostly up to the north as we go into the weekend. As you'll see, I'll get out of the way here. You'll see a couple of blips here for Monterey. That's more mist and drizzle, heavy stuff at times as we get into the evening, getting into the overnight hours. And then we're going to see more of that rainfall come in in the form of true rain, a few hundredths of an inch here and there, getting into some of those mountains and low-lying areas well to the north by Point Reyes. Then it touches the uh, San Pablo Bay as well as getting into the Golden Gate Bridge eventually. And then we cross over to Monday. The clouds and everything start to sag over a little bit and that's when we start to get our rainfall chances uh, for Monday and Tuesday and then possibly into Wednesday as well. I moved down a little bit farther down the coast. You can see all the way down into Baja uh, Peninsula there. That's a, a hurricane that will be a tropical storm by the time we get into Monday of next week. You'll see the heavy rainfall, but this is what I was talking about. This mixed in with another area of low pressure and the low pressure by us could possibly drag some of that moisture back in our direction. 60s and 70s expected mostly, maybe even touching some low 80s. And as we go into the next uh, few days, we're going to find ourselves getting into uh, temperatures a little bit cooler, and then we'll warm it up as we get into uh, next week's very slightly. Temperatures again in the morning, 47 to 56 degrees with, of course, a southerly surge and more clouds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll look for it. Thanks, Art.